Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Form of Therapy. And today's culture study, I'm sure you're all excited. I'm sure you saw the title and you're like, finally, how long were you going to make us wait? I don't know what it is. I don't know why this took so long. I, it was just something, it's my fault. It's just my fault. I kept myself busy and distracted for no reason. And it just, I lost sight of it. I kept losing sight of it. We're here. I don't worry. I punished myself thoroughly because you know what finally smacked me into place? You know what? You know who came in and kicked my ass? It was, can we switch over? It was this man himself. After watching Baggy Jeans, after the whole NCTU Golden Age project, I just, I, I, I really realized how much I was offending this man. Um, and I, I'm sorry. I'm here to right my wrongs. I'm here to right my mistakes. So, uh, I know there's a bunch of all these, uh, sexy 10 videos out there. Pfft, I'll check them out. You know what? Not all of my culture study videos can be in depth, insightful. You know, I, I, I struggled really a lot with, um, I'm a video producer and like people like this and this and that. And I just, sometimes there are just videos where I like, I feel like I'm not bringing that. And I feel like I'm just like being like this just wild, crazy fan. And I realize <laughs> if you feel otherwise, then uh, whatever. It's fuck it. I, I just, I, I really felt it with the most recent NCTU comeback. I was just like, oh my God, 10's going to drive me wild. But I think it's just love talk changed everything. I was just like, I don't know if I can handle whatever Phantom is, but I'm ready. All right. This is Phantom by Wavy. And this is your form of therapy. Let's go. I got to make sure it's 4K. Mm -hmm. I got to make sure I got subs. Mm -hmm. Let's go. No, 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 hold on, no, 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 this ain't right. Let's see, okay, I had to jack up my headphone volume all the way. That was immediately not loud enough. Let's go. There's just so much whispering in this song. Wow. wow. Oh, wow. Such beautiful transitions. Wow. One after another. Wow. Oh, wow. It's kind of a bit of a sexy horror aesthetic. Oh, 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 Ted. My goodness. Oh, I love this. This music video, the scale of this music video, as with all wavy videos, is insane. Wow. Wow. 
Oh my god. All the jewelry and all the set crafting is so beautiful in this video. And they still maintain the consistent, like, crazy, strange camera work that Wavy always has, especially for tense dancing. Wow. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. This video is... I love this music video so much. <laughs> oh wow uh, uh, what is it what is it did you see the way they move that camera to the uh, side for 10 uh, like that that shit okay i see 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 what I've witnessed. Let's roll a bit. Oh, let's 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 talk about this. Um, let me see. When did this come out? Eight months ago. Can I get an accurate date? Wow, December twenty eighth, twenty twenty two. What an ambiguous date for this to come out. People are going to hate me. They're going to hate me so much when I say this. They're going to hate me so much when I say this out loud. I don't think I've ever answered this question directly because it was always really hard to answer. I think Wavy's Phantom just made it really easy. I think this might be my favorite K-pop music video just I've ever watched. Like, I feel like, you know... I had this so many like, and I'm, I'm going to give it to a, a big amount of the credit to 10. Listen, Wavy, all of them, oh, just all, every single member, I'll get into them. But 10, oh my God, like he's, he's like a God tier idol. This, this performer, he's, they had to shoot this. Wavy has, now I realize, some of the most stylized but always delivered in like the smoothest, cleanest fashion. You really have to like, I don't know, I guess really kind of see past, I guess like you have to be, I don't know, you have to see like the thread of like what they're trying to do in the video. They're always like trying to do something a little bit more, a little bit deeper. There's like so much depth to Wavy that I, I guess I didn't re really realize until like love talk and then this moment truly like realizing it. Um, yeah, it was always this weird moment. Like, I, I guess, like, they're, like, K-pop, but also they are not K-pop, but also, like, they do K-pop tropes for productions and music video, but they also are very much uh, C-pop. And so, like, Wavy, I realize, is just their own genre, both not just in their songs, but, like, in their music videos. And, like, the image and that tone that they give me, the reason why this is like my favorite music video is 
my heart exploded into a million pieces because they fulfilled like so many things I've seen in other groups, but all in just this one video. First of all, they filled like the biggest hole that was left in my heart since there was a VIX comeback. They're this super high conceptual, dark fantasy concept. Um, God 7 gave us a little bit of that with Not By The Moon. That's why I loved it so much. I was like, oh yes, come on. More boy groups do a dark fantasy concept. 17, I'm waiting. But I really, it just that, that fulfilled like something in me. That just, I was like, whoa, I really haven't heard this in years. Uh, uh, even just like seeing it in years, like the, the theme of the music video. For one moment, I was like, why does the scale of this certain moments feel like, why do I feel like I'm watching an older shiny video? Like, and I was like, oh, wait, this is SM. I was like, oh, like I'm seeing like moments from like, like moments. So it's not, I don't know. I want to watch this again and try to do a, try to see if I can figure out, but it's, I don't know if it's a specific shot or like what, but there were moments in the music video where I'm like, this feels like something like the way they're making me feel is the way that sh only shiny has ever made me feel. But like in the way that like when I like witnessed something truly epic and great for the first time, like there were like, Shiny had great songs, but there were moments where they just kind of catapulted themselves by putting something crazy out. But, um, and then a little bit of like that old school Dongbangshingi epic sort of strings, you know, very sexy, but very serious. Uh, just kind of everything, like just everything. Like I'm, I'm in utter shock. It's... It came out in 2022, so uh, I'm, I'm glad because I, I almost would have said, like, this is the greatest music video that came out this year. But um, luckily, I don't have to make that distinction. Um, let's go ahead and watch this again. Holy moly. Mm. Mm -mm. Uh, um, what is it? What is it? Beautiful. Uh, uh. All right, that transition was beautiful. Uh. Ooh, ooh, they cut a little bit beforehand. Could I get my keyboard, please? We're gonna have, I wanna see, I think it's literally just a cut. This might, be, just, might just be slick timing. Oh yeah, it's just slick timing. It's just simply a cut. They, ooh. yeah, it's just simply a cut and they're moving in. In fact, there isn't an actual effect until right here on Xiaojun's part. The slight, yep. When you go into Xiao Jun, he kind of, boom, appears. They very much come off like fantasy characters, anime characters, you know, with the swords, with the, with the crazy, with the crazy, crazy rings. Um, but even the transitions, the music video itself really presents them, makes them appear like phantoms. Oh, the, first of all, the concept of being phantoms has never been done like this and has never been so f***ing cool. I didn't realize phantoms could be so cool. They made phantoms and the concept of phantoms so cool. Like, wow. Wow. Let me take a look at that choreo one more time. And the video has such a... Very, very trippy. Wow. Even down to their movements. Lisa. Like how we're doing like this crane shot outside of them. These are very abnormal shots you would see in a K-pop music video. And the stretching of the shots right there. Oh, the choreo here. Brain. That is so cool. This music video... Matching especially this, what is it, a drum? Hold on, let's roll it back to when The mix of the drums in the 808s and the way this video is, it sounds weirdly very tribal almost. Like it's their anthem. And who the fuck makes an anthem like this? 
it has a very like we're wavy and we're coming for you sort of a feeling like a phantom um oh my god it's like it's like it's like that uh, they're like phantom thieves you know that very gonna very luxurious very we're gonna steal your heart kind of a feeling to it <laughs> and every part of the video always has to transition into the other there's no stopping there's constant momentum Oh my god. Oh my god. And that's an actual panther. Wow. Or a puma. Whichever. What's the difference between a panther and a puma? Someone tell me in the comments below. Wow. So interesting. Is this set piece supposed to be... What is this supposed to be? So either a boat or like, like, like it's a ship, yeah? Or like a balcony. But wow, that's really interesting. Because I think there are boats in later shots. Hold on, I want to see this transition one more time. Pulling down, filling it with fog, but then also moving up, moving back up to shout. Ah. Okay, so there's a lot of like strange shots in this music video that you don't see ordinarily in music videos or K-pop music videos, even some of the framing. Um, the, I think framing is actually one of the biggest, most important key roles in this music video. And it's what sets it apart. And it's what honestly... <sighs> Other music videos have definitely done framing before. It's really kind of hard to have unique framing while keeping it a dance video. There's a lot of like still videos, acting based videos where fit framing can be the focus, focus if it's narrative based. For it to have this much dancing and th th these many crazy transitions and for it to be this fluid and smooth, perfection being the word. I mean, it has to be micro like planned down to the T. It is so well done. But, like even shots like that. You can see like how it's breaking the feet, like the, the depth of field. You know, most shots that we see, TV shows, movies, music videos, are always like kind of some kind of lateral movement. But here they're kind of like breaking it a lot. They're breaking. Oh my God. Yeah, just the way it, I got it. It's the camera. The camera is moving like it's a phantom. The camera's like literally floating around. The, the camera movements are so odd. It, or maybe it's because the way the choreo is designed, the way Ten is dancing, he is dancing like a phantom, and then they're kind of adjusting the camera work to follow him like to make him seem more phantom-like. This specific, like, well, especially that opening when they first cut in on there's a slight shake. There's the flashing of the white. It's very horror-themed. Not, it's not a horror music video, but it's like a very horror trope type of thing you would do, like a clap of thunder type of thing. But the, look at the way they follow 10. Looks like, it, it looked like the camera was like, like kind of like jittering and lagging behind by like half a second. But it feels all very intentional to make them seem more phantom-like. Mm. Oh, that slow-mo looks beautiful. They, they do, do it again. Yeah, they keep playing with... Oh, they keep playing with the death so much. Ooh. Oh, interesting. What I thought was a ship was a cop. He like broke through. That's dope. See, everything's a transition. 
看见。哎，穿透虚伪，这次开始前一生的炙热。Oh, this beat is hot. What? I think they literally fucked with the axis in that shot. What the? F Did you see this? Take a look very closely. So oftentimes, Ted's doing like this, some kind of move, like this, right? Moved in his hand like this. Often, then the camera would follow it like this. It's not just doing that. It's like shifting. Do you do you see? The look at the background. Like, I think. I think they changed something while doing this. How how did they? It's wide. Oh my god. I think they're literally. I think they're changing the focal length while shooting it. That doesn't make sense. What? How would you do that? What? But wait, hold on. So then it looks like it was wider and it's getting longer. Slightly longer. It's like maybe like 35, like 24, 35 now. And before it was like extremely wide. But, but that would mean that they, there's, they would have to zoom in on 10. But the shot's clearly zooming out. Which means they're moving so... F they're moving faster than they're like... They're doing like basically this. Wait. This would be zooming in. But, so ordinarily, you would just be moving back like this. They're zooming in. So they're maybe even like... Like on some kind of maybe dolly or maybe it's a robot arm, whatever. They're zooming and pulling back even faster. They're like pulling back even faster to make it seem like the space is warping behind him. Bro. What the hell? So you can see it in, see how, do you see how the set is more rounded? You can see right here, right here in the, like these fixtures right here, how it's curved. But as it turns, it starts changing even more. Wow. That's weird. That's crazy. I, like... Okay, so K-pop is very much known for its extravagant, and VIX was very much known for this too, it, 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 like extravagant acting outfits. I love that there is sort of a theme here, or and, and everything they do, it's not just like a, oh, I'm just trying to look cool, and so I'm doing something cool. I'm like running through the hallway for just no reason. Everything seems very connected. Like everything they... Everything leads one into another. And that's what makes the video even better. When Wayne throws the knife, it goes into the heart. It leads into the chandelier falling. It creates an earthquake and it leads into them dancing. See, that too. They were just above and then they go down. They were just to the side and then all of a sudden they're center. The camera work is not shooting like most K-pop uh, dances do, but it's not even moving in the traditional cinematic uh, framing and camera work. It's just constantly trying to mess with your perspective. It's, it's, like, a, it's like a slower, smoother version of what you see from the weekend music show camera work. It's just kind of all over the place. That's kind of the point. And obviously, you know, they're idols, so they're just trained to follow their eyesight to the camera. Excuse me. The way 10 just... Oh, no. Whoa. Why am I all the way back here? Okay. Sorry. The way 10 just came in right there. I need to see that one more time. Yeah, right here. Oh. 
the way he like the way he slides in damn the way the way he slides in with this what's his hand doing wow is he just like literally doing yeah he feels like they all feel like um they really capture the essence of like that kind of European old uh novelty that 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 aspect of it um feels very gentlemanly um in that way like i know they're a phantom but like he feels like one of those like really beautiful uh french vampire dudes who have been alive since like i don't know the 1800s or whatever like the the kind of sophistication that's the word i'm looking for they this choreo is so sophisticated in like the littlest parts, like a lot of like it's cool dancing, yeah. But I think it's just like the little bits here and there, like the the different things that like young, like oh my god, young young. I I've never like really fully appreciated that man, and I he I showed up today and just really noticed him. But just even in that transition where Ten comes in and like the way he like like <laughs> ele ele like elevates only like one part of his chest and rounds it and he has like this very regal sort of a feeling to him. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that shot is wild. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, I, I think that's one of my favorite shots in this video. So I, I, I know I'm making this video long. I'm, I'm going to keep it short. I promise. I'll, or I'll try to do it soon, but... Damn. Oh, wow. Oh, interesting. They zoom in on 10. They're zooming in on him when he's making the move, but then the moment he locks eyes with them, he's, they start moving back. Wow. The way he whips the camera. Is Thank you for focusing on the feet. I love that they focused on that move. Oh. Oh my God. And that's my other favorite shot. Uh, uh, what is it? What is it? Oh. Uh, oh, shit. Okay. Phantom is for sure my favorite sm music video that's nuts that's nuts that's nuts it might be my favorite music video um like just just mm, like like it was everything it it's what makes k-pop so k-pop like there's a lot of there's a lot of new rookie groups who are kind of moving away from what made k-pop so conceptual when it was starting to uh, get its uh, feet in the international world, like, you know, they, they kind of dressed in, like, more uh, interesting concept-driven garbs like this. It was way more conceptual back then. And people are trying to do more grounded concepts nowadays, which is definitely cool. But um, the way they did this, and, like, I feel like the highest scale ever, Wavy has always kind of been very fantastical anyways, but... It was like the highest, highest scale they ever took it. Uh, I really liked the epic nature that this phantom concept really brought to all of both the music video, like uh, the dance, the camera work. The camera, it felt like it was a mix of being both a music video and also a horror movie. But not just a horror movie. One of those horror movies that has a bit of a romantic subplot to it. Like not exactly Phantom of... I guess Phantom something like... 
Phantom of the Opera. I guess it's a thriller more than a horror. But I'm sorry it took me so long to check this out. Uh, like that's why I'm I, I'm sorry that this is even my favorite music video. Like the fact that this could have been my favorite music video all this time. Like I have a genuine, genuine question. I have a genuine question to myself. I had this came out eight months ago. I have been very depressed and suffering from a lot of anxiety and having a really, really hard time for the past eight months. And I have a genuine question for myself. Motherfucker, if you had checked this out when this came out eight months ago, could this have per- probably helped That's how bad I feel. I feel like watching this, it cured me of something. Like, I am someone who, I love art. I love, love art. It's why I do this channel. I love music videos. That's how good this music video was. It was one of my favorite pieces of art I've ever seen. I, I want to, like, frame it. Uh, I, I want to frame this video uh, 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 and put it up on the wall and just have it, like, playing all the time. And the song's great. Um, video, 12 out of 10. Song, 12 out of 10. Just incredible. Just S grade, S plus, just S plus plus. It's the best thing I've ever seen. Someone just try to beat it. I mean, it'll have to be probably wavy next time. But um, yeah. I'm going to wrap my video right there. That is Phantom by Wavy. That was the most boots knocking experience I have ever had. For filming a reaction. That was incredible. Um, my producer's been off to the side real quick. She kind of saw everything. So real quick, wh- what did you think? 12 out of 10. Uh, incredible. Beautiful. Artful. <laughs> sensual. 10. Uh, wh- <laughs> 10? Yeah. 10? As in the member 10? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I love this because um, I recently did check out NCTU. And I wanted to see more of Kun or hear more of Kun on the songs that he was on. And so (laughs) checking out Phantom, I feel like, wow, immediate wish fulfillment. And also uh, in like the best concept I've ever seen him in. Um, I First of all, I always really loved his blue hair, but like, wow, he was good in red too. Um, Yang Yang was a huge, huge surprise to me. I feel like I I really came to... um, uh, appreciate and notice him for the first time on my end. And I mean, Win Win and 10 just like fit this concept so well. But Hen Daddy, what was he doing? Just sitting there and whispering. He was like, I don't know, like, I guess he was rapping, but like, he was also just like, I. I don't know. Hen Daddy has like some kind of magic on me. He's he has such a an amazing he has such an amazing aura as a performer. He he really moved me. So um yeah, thank you for tuning into this reaction. Uh if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. Like the video down below. Party in the comments. Let me know what you thought about the video. What was your favorite part? What was your favorite moment? Uh, my favorite moment ha- my favorite moments had to be it definitely <laughs> all ten involved uh, the moments where he like moves his body into frame like this. Um, definitely some of the sweeping camera work. Um, uh, definitely where he w- whips the camera, but he he has this crazy like. I thought only anime characters could move like that, dude. Kind of emotion fluidness in this video that he's always had, but like he channeled purposely. I I feel like like he like that was actually the intention of this video. Rather than like him naturally always oozing anime character energy. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know your favorite parts. Uh, if you enjoy this, uh, you can check out more reactions. In fact, I just checked out the NCTU Golden Age uh, album. Uh, that's on my Patreon. You can check that out over there. Uh, if there's an album for Phantom, which you can't tell me this was a single. 
That would be the most insane thing I've ever heard in my life. That they just put this out as a single? That can't be. Hold on. Can we take a pause? Okay. I checked. There's an album. It is... This is a solid eight songs. All right. I'm going to add that. I am totally, totally going to listen to that. Phantom. I will not offend Wavy anymore. Phantom is the greatest thing I have ever seen. Um, hold me to that. Uh, it is definitely my favorite SM video. It, like, like... Again, hints of Tongbang Shingi, even like uh, like Max's solo stuff, like like they hit an epicness that I have only really seen Max hit, like the the epic scale of it, like this grandness of lo this like ha ah, I'm crazy, I'm so good, I'm crazy, like only Max really brings that energy, and then Wavy brought that energy. Um, uh, so, uh, I just, I, I think this was the most SM video I've ever seen in my life. Um, chef's kiss. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'll see you in another video. You can always subscribe to tune in. Uh, you can check out our other videos over here. And we'll see you next time. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye, guys.